Eric Bergstrom here with former Menominee Maroon and Wisconsin Badger, Jacob Pedersen. Jacob, thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, no problem at all. Uh, this Saturday is the M&M game. What does the M&M game mean to you, and what do you think it means to the communities? I mean, obviously, it's a long, outstanding tradition. Um, you know, it means a lot to the community. It's a great rival- rivalry. We've always had a good games against Marinette. Um, you know, going back, it's it just, to me, it's just all about the history. Um, you know, being such a, you know, Marinette Manami is basically one community. That's how I view it in my eyes, and you know, going up against a lot of guys every year who, you know, a lot of them are your friends, and I think that just kind of adds to the competition. And um, it's just cool for players to be able to uh, continue to be able to participate in it, and, you know, hopefully they can keep on doing it here for many years to come. What are some of your best memories as a fan or as a player? Um, probably as a player, it was when I got to when I was a sophomore and I was able to play in the uh, Hunters game. Um, just kind of, I feel like the Hunters game was kind of a special special game just uh, hitting that century mark uh you know we were able to pull out the win that day and everything and you know continue on a great season we had that year so that's probably one of the you know real cool memories from it while you were at the university of wisconsin did you have any rivalries that reminded you of the m&m game i'm sure you did yeah um you know obviously the uh minnesota game is a really long outstanding uh rivalry there uh I uh, remember exactly how many games we're at. Um, you know, Wisconsin, and I mean, it's kind of been how <laughs> the Menominee Marinette robbery's been here. Um, <laughs> you know, we've been able to kind of beat up on them here the last few years, but it's always a competitive game. Both teams, you know, and the records don't really matter when it gets to these types of games. You know, every every team's coming out. They got fire. They're they're playing with energy, and anyone can win. You know, uh, when I was a senior, you know, we ended up losing in a tight game. You know, I don't. I don't believe it should have been as tight as it was. I don't believe we should have lost, but we did. And that, you know, I, I think that goes back to the rivalry that it is. Um, you know, no, doesn't matter how good, how bad you are. When that game comes, it's you know, it's you and you, you versus a team, and evenly matched. And everyone's everyone's out there playing as hard as they can. And you know, that you don't have that in every game. It's, it's special to those types of situations. And talking about Minnesota, I'm sure it's nice to beat up on them, but. Uh, it makes it a lot more special now that I, they're actually a lot better now. Last year they had a good year, so I'm sure that rivalry will intensify now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, last year they were – every year we played them, they got significantly better. Um, this year, you know, they got some journalists who are picking them to uh, win win the division. So, obviously, they have to go through Wisconsin. So, I you know, I expect it to be a pretty uh, – He's a game again this year. Uh, hopefully Wisconsin can pull it out, obviously, but um, it'll be an exciting game to see. When you left Menominee to go to the University of Wisconsin, a Big Ten school, how well do you think your coaches with the Maroons prepared you for life after high school? Um, you know, honestly, <laughs> I think they prepared me more outside of football than they did. But obviously they're great coaches. Uh, you know, they, they definitely... You know, they know what they're doing. They know how to win games. Um, just the single wing, which obviously I played back when I was in high school, is completely different than what I did at Wisconsin. So there wasn't too many attributes I took in form of, you know, football technique and everything else that kind of changed. But, you know, what Coach Hofer, Coach Satch, Coach Schomer, Coach Noah, what, what they all taught me back in my playing days, you know, you go back to, any coach that I had, if it was in the Hornets with Coach Clyde or Coach DeRussia or, you know, Coach uh, Marky Bile and Jeff Bile and my freshman year, you know, all those coaches, you know, they they always, you know, really embodied what football meant and, you know, what you needed to have success and, you know, that's hard work, putting in the extra hours, waking up early for early morning lifting and conditioning, being a team player, hanging out with your team, you know, if if you like the people you're playing with, if you hang out with them, you're, you're going to put in that extra effort to make sure you're doing your job. Uh, those are some of the biggest things they taught me was uh, always going the extra mile to make sure I was prepared for everybody else. And um, you know, I, I honestly think that's one of the reasons I had success at Wisconsin was I came in with the mentality that I was going to outwork everybody else. And I didn't go to the biggest or the fastest guy, but you know, I I had those values that they instilled in me, and then you know, I was able to catapult me into being a decent player for Wisconsin. And talking about your success at Wisconsin, after college you had an opportunity that most only dream of. What was it like to actually have that chance to chase your dream of becoming an NFL player and being in those camps and those situations? 
Uh, I mean, obviously it was a great opportunity, you know, getting to do the Senior Bowl, the Combine, um, you know, getting to be in an NFL camp, you know, that, that is, you know, not many people get those opportunities. Um, I obviously wish my opportunity would have went different, but, uh, you know, it was, you know, while, while it lasted, it was great. Um, met a lot of cool guys. Um, you know, got to, got to be coached by some, you know, Hall of Fame type coaches and, um, definitely a great experience. Uh, you know, one one change for the world. Um, I wouldn't, wouldn't do it again, though. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Someone told me that you're friends with uh, the Packers' Jared Aberderis. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're pretty good friends. Yeah. Uh, you guys still keep in contact, and do you think he'll get more of an opportunity to show what he can do now that uh, Jordy Nelson got injured? Yeah. Um, and I've talked to Jared a few times here in the last couple of weeks, and um, I think there's a great opportunity out there for him. I know Green Bay really liked him before he had his injury last year with the ACL and stuff. So, you know, the sooner he gets on the field, the better for him. But, you know, Jared's a great play. You know, he's a great player and he's a playmaker. And that's what you want to receive. But you want a guy who's going to go up, get the ball. Um, he's going to make people miss. He's a threat in the punt return game. So I think, I think when he gets back on the practice field and everything for Green Bay, I think, uh, you know, I think he can do a lot of good things for him. And, uh, but Jordy going down, you know, obviously, you, know, you never want to see a player get hurt if it's uh, an opponent or teammate or yourself. But when when a guy goes down, it's kind of like the next man in. And you know, I think Jared takes a lot of pride in being the guy who can step up and help him. And you know, I'm excited to see where he can go. Um, so, what has life been like for you away from the football field? What are you doing now? Um, well, I've been busy. <laughs> I was doing a bunch of part time stuff for a while. Just kind of, I was training for a little bit here in the spring. Um, seeing if I was going to give it another run. Um, I ended up not getting a ton of interest, so I hung them up. And I actually started working for a company called uh, Cottingham & Butler. Um, it's an insurance brokerage based out of Dubuque, Iowa, but we have a Madison office here, which is our biggest hub outside Dubuque. Um, I work as a risk management consultant in their line. So I've been doing this. Uh, I, I definitely would not say um, growing up, I you know, told everybody I was going to be a uh, you know, risk management consultant. I, right. Um, it's good experience. Uh, you know, I have a lot of great people who I work with. Uh, learning a lot. Uh, so it's it's definitely been interesting. I'm I'm enjoying it. Um, again, going back. I mean, at this point in your point in my life, uh, as much knowledge and experience as I can get is you know will mean the mean the world in the next few years down the road here. But uh, yeah, I've actually been talking to some companies back home and everything and it's good to get back up in the upper peninsula as much as i can so i'm enjoying it i know you like to hunt so that's a good spot to be at back in the up <laughs> yeah it definitely is uh there's lots of lots of outdoor stuff to do up there i actually spend most of my time hunting down here in southern wisconsin we tend to uh have a little bit bigger bucks than up in the up but i i make it a point uh you know last year was the first year i got to come up for rifle season and quite a few years and that's special. Uh, you know, there's, while we have bigger bucks down here in Wisconsin, we don't have the history and tradition of going up to deer camp with family and friends and going out on that opening day. That's, that's definitely something that's special and pretty unique to the UP for me. So I, you know, I plan to do it as long as I can. With football being such a big part of your life for most of your life, do you miss it? And do you think you'd like to get involved maybe again in the future, whether it's coaching? Um, I mean, I, I was, I'm, I wouldn't say I miss the NFL side of it. I definitely miss the high school days, playing with all my best, you know, my best friends from back home, playing with a lot of guys I knew really well. Um, you know, obviously winning the state championships and everything was great in high school. So I miss, I miss high school. I miss playing for the Maroons, the single wing, and you know, I miss college to an extent. Playing for Wisconsin was great, uh, you know. But honestly, uh, um, with me being so big into the outdoors, football kind of cuts into your hunting time. So. <laughs> I would honest, you know, I can honestly say I'm probably happier now than when I was playing. Um, it allows me a lot more free time to spend with family and friends and whatnot. Uh, you know, I would love to coach. I I love kids and I love helping kids and mentoring them and helping bring them along. But 